Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. Let's start by reading this problem. It says a function is shown in the table below. So here's our table. We have x, the input. Right? I know we're not asked to do this, but I usually play with the problems right away to think about what I'm given. x is my input. I write this down. f of x is my output, right? or my the numbers here in the output are called the range. Right? This is our range. And this over here, these x values are called the domain. Now I know they didn't ask, I didn't even read the question yet, but I like to label these things so I can get my head around the problem. And then I'm going to just take a look at this table even before I read the question. I notice that the x value is negative 4, negative 1, 0, and 3. As I go down this table, those x values are increasing. And I notice the outputs, 2, negative 4, negative 2, and then back up to 16, are bouncing all around. <coughs> right? They're decreasing, then increasing, then increasing a lot. Um, so just observing that. And now I'm going to read the, the question. If, the in if included in the table, which ordered pair, negative 4 or a negative 4 comma 1 or 1 comma negative 4 would result in a relation that is no longer a function. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so we want to choose the point that, that essentially takes this relationship in this table and makes sure it's not a function. Or in other words, they're saying it's already a function and we want to break it. So every function is um, designed so that inputs, designed or observed I guess, inputs lead to precisely one output. That's what a function is. So for example, I have the number of numbers 1 and 2, and they map over or give us an output of 3 and whatever, negative 17. This is a function because both inputs 1 and 2 each have one of their own outputs, 3 and negative 17. Now if I had a third input there, and let's say 3 go also goes to negative 17, this is still a function. Why? Well, because if we start at any of our inputs, 1, 2, or 3, we know exactly what outputs they're leading to. It's okay that 2 and 3 are sharing the same output. That's still a function. But then, let me just clear those off, if I add another point here, and it maps to nowhere, right? If it's undefined, right? If this input has no output, that starts to cause some problems. And particularly here, in this situation, they're asking you to consider this. Let's say I have another output, like 2. If 3 also goes to 2, in other words, if any of my inputs here go to more than one output, it's no longer a function. So for example, 3 is the problem here. 3 goes to both negative 17 and 2. That's not a function. So we have to add a point here that breaks this, breaks this function. So which of these points would cause an issue? Well, the answer is negative 4, 1. Because negative 4 is already mapping to 2, so if negative 4 also maps to 1, that input, negative 4 is our input, um, has two outputs, both 2 and 1. So that's the way I would explain this, right? I would say, I would write down that negative 4 has two outputs, 2 and 1. So therefore, it's not a function. And I would show that, I would support my reasoning by drawing some kind of diamond gram, just like this right here. I put my inputs in one, on one side, just kind of map. In our outputs, right, we add the ones they have in the table and put one more on there, namely number, the number one, because that's if we add this point, we're adding that output. And we can just show, look, negative four maps to two and it maps to one, right? You could say it this way. Negative one doesn't map to negative four, zero maps to negative two, and three maps to 16. But negative 4 go, connects to two different outputs, so it's not a function. And just to like, really confirm what's happening here, 1 comma negative 4 would not be an issue because that would be another input that also leads to the, the output of negative 4. Right? If we draw one last map over here, if I list out all the points, with, including this red one, 1, negative 4. Um, here, I'm going to change the order here. The order doesn't really matter as long as I draw my arrows appropriately. Negative 4 still maps to 2. Negative 1 maps to negative 4, right? 0 maps to negative 2, um, here, sorry. 3 maps to 16. This is messy. I should have changed the order. What was I thinking? And then 1 also maps to negative 4. So here, you can see that both negative 1 and 1 share the same output, but that's okay. 
as long as you can follow how the inputs travel um, to each of their own outputs, uh, it is a function. But again, here, negative 4 maps out to two different outputs. It's not a function. Thanks.